Deadpool 3 has been all the rage since not only it's been announced, but since Ryan Reynolds revealed that Hugh Jackman has come onto the project to join him. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. Like, for example, how is Wolverine alive yeah. after Logan? Logan uh, takes place in 2029, mm -hmm. totally separate thing. Mm -hmm. Logan died in Logan, not touching that. What actually happens in our film? Deadpool is now a proper part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Ryan Reynolds has been hard at work filming the third installment in his highly successful franchise. Deadpool 3 is not only a few months away, and we already know plenty about the movie, including major details about the cast, release date, and what the film will look like. There were times when Sean Levi said himself that they weren't even sure of a release date because of all the halts they had to do when filming. With all the sneak peeks we have seen of him filming with Hugh Jackman and Sabretooth, obviously we have seen more than what Reynolds has wanted fans to see, and it is kind of ruining some stuff for ourselves in the future. But even with all that we have seen and all that has been sneakily released of them filming, we still do not have a teaser of any kind or trailer, just a little bit of the plot and what to expect. It would make sense that there would be a trailer or at least teaser coming soon, and what better way to advertise a film like this during the Super Bowl? There are rumors currently going around that the teaser could be shown during this time. No official word from sources, but it doesn't stop fans from speculating. Fans were hoping that we might see some footage from Marvel Studios' Deadpool 3 before the new year, and sadly, even though that didn't come into fruition, it makes sense that they would have something ready for the Super Bowl in February. At the very least, we could get an official title name. As we know from Deadpool 3, that's technically not the official title. When Spider-Man No Way Home was teased, it was just the title name. This wouldn't exactly be a major shocker if they did show something during the Super Bowl, since most studios unveil trailers for their upcoming tent poles during the event, but again, we're hoping this won't actually be our very first glimpse of some footage from the MCU set prequel. Cameos that have reportedly been lined up for Deadpool 3 include several X-Men characters, Storm, Cyclops, and Jean Grey among them, and possibly even Channing Tatum and Taylor Kitsch as different variants of Gambit. Plot details also remain a mystery for now, but Wade and Wolverine are expected to find themselves trapped in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A recent report claimed that Loki's TVA, including Agent Mobius, played by Owen Wilson and Miss Minutes, will be involved. We have also been led to believe that Wade's MCU debut will be far more integral to Phase 5 and beyond than we first realized. Again, this would make sense as Wolverine has to come into this world somehow and there has to be an explanation for it. On another note, Ryan Reynolds has been known to promote Mint Mobile and other companies like Rexham. Last year, he appeared in a commercial for Aviation Gin, so more than likely we'll at least see an advertisement with him in it. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about this and what else do you think will be leaked from this film between now and its release? Besides the trailer. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.